Hey guys, in this video I will be taking a look at the release candidate of Linux Mint 13. Uh, this is the Mate 1.2 variant, which I will explain later on. So I am currently on the login screen. You can see the Linux Mint logo and it says Linux Mint. Welcome to computer name. It has the day, the date and the time. You have to type in both your username and password to log in. If you don't like this um, login screen, then you are welcome to change it. You can choose your language here, so I can select English Australia and choose change language. Um, and I can select no because I don't want to have to restart the system yet. Uh, you can choose your session. You can run xclient script mate, which you will most likely be using and secure remote connection. We also have actions such as the ability to shut down the computer, to restart the computer and to suspend the computer. So I am going to log in now. Okay, so I am being told that my wired network connection has been established. Um, and I am presented with the Welcome to Linux Mint screen. So this is release 13, codename Maya. This is the Mate 64-bit edition. Uh, let's check out the new features quickly. So it has opened up um, Firefox. Uh, let's quickly see what version this is. Firefox version 12. Uh, so let's take a look at the new features in Linux Mint 13. Uh, there were basically two variants now. There's the Mate 1.2 variant, which I'm currently taking a look at. And there's the Cinnamon 1.4 variant, um, which is sort of a new um, desktop environment. So let's um, focus on Mate 1.2. So it is stable and works on most computers. It is um, very productive and easy to use. Um, it continues where GNOME 2 left off and introduces its own incremental improvements. Um, and it comes with support um, for Mint Menu, Mint Desktop, Compies and everything that made GNOME 2 the most popular Linux desktop. And it is built with GTK2, meaning that it features more themes and it integrates with more applications than any other desktop. So, in other words, um, if you aren't a fan of um, GNOME 3 and you miss GNOME 2, then Mate is probably the desktop environment for you. I might um, make a video on um, Cinnamon Edition in the near future. Um, it looks pretty interesting. It looks like it uses a few more resources than Mate though. It requires 3D acceleration um, and it relies on GNOME 3 and Clutter. So it doesn't look as um, lightweight. Uh, so they are talking about MDM, the MDM Display Manager. Um, and you can obviously change your login screen, as you can see in the picture here. Um, I won't go through all of this. There were apparently artwork improvements, new backgrounds. And the new default search engine is Yahoo. Um, this is due to funding, you know, whenever you search using the Linux Mint um, Yahoo search and you click on an advertisement they obviously make some money out of that so if you don't like Yahoo you're going to have to manually change it to Google now. Um, so let's um, get out of the browser and let's take a look around. I'm going to close the startup screen. So we have the menu in the bottom left hand corner. We have the desktop button. Obviously all of your open windows appear here. Uh, what do we have here? I think it said 93 updates available. You obviously have to give it your password for security purposes. And it's currently downloading package information. Um, I'm not going to worry about doing that. It could take a while. Though there are quite a few updates currently available. We have um, volume control. Uh, this is just a wide network connection or wide connection run as it likes to call it. Um, this is basically the clock and the calendar, and you have the locations um, sort of pop out here, which is pretty neat. Now let's take a look at the menu, which hasn't really changed um, that much. You have all of your places like um, computer, etc., which um, uses Saja 1.2.1. Ubuntu, on the other hand, uses um, Nautilus. 
Um, you know, it's a pretty nice um, file manager, pretty simple. I quite like it. Uh, what else do we have here? We have system, so we have the software manager. You know, I don't mind the software manager in um, Linux Mint, though um, I think that the one in Ubuntu is actually a bit better. So it looks a, uh, you know, it looks a bit nicer. Though um, I'm pretty sure they more or less have the same functionality, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, pretty much the same functionality. You, you know, you can still leave reviews, etc. Uh, what else do we have here? The package manager, the control panel. I quite like the layout of um, the control panel. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to bore you and go through all of that. Um, we have our favourite section here. We obviously have Firefox um, as the default browser. We have Thunderbird. We have um, Pigeon for, you know, your MSN account, etc. We have Banshee as the default media player. I quite like um, Banshee. Um, you know, it's pretty functional. You can store your music, audio books, um, videos, podcasts, um, radio stations. It mustn't have any radio stations included out of the box, so you can obviously add the stream. Um, it's got Amazon MP3 um, store and a few other different services here. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's pretty convenient. All within um, the actual Banshee Media Player app. And we have a few other ones here. You might want to change um, some of these other default ones. We have the calculator, the text editor, the terminals, you know, sound control, the monitors, and the system monitor. Now let's look at the all applications um, view. So we have all of our applications here, and we have the different categories. All of the accessories are pretty boring, really. We have, you know, the calculator, 5 times 5. I've no idea what that is, 25 of course. Um, we have the character map, which looks, you know, reasonably functional. Uh, what else do we have here? We have um, the Take Screenshot app. Um, I quite like this little utility. It gives you the option to grab the whole desktop, grab the current window, and to select an area. Uh, what else do we have under Graphics? Uh, we have GIMP, you know, pretty much every Linux distribution has GIMP really. We have um, GTHUM to, you know, organise all of your images. We have LibreOffice Draw, SimpleScan. Um, once again, we have Firefox, Pigeon, Thunderbird. We have Transmission, you know, for the, as the default torrenting application. We have XChat as the default IRC application. Not that many people would use it. We have the dictionary and we have all of these other LibreOffice um, utilities. We have Base, which is basically for databases. Calc, which is the Excel equivalent. We have Draw. We have Impress, which is basically PowerPoint and Writer, which is basically Microsoft Word. Uh, sound and Video, Banshee. Uh, we have Brazero for copying CDs and DVDs. We have Gnome M Player. We have Movie Player. VLC Media Player. So you will be able to play pretty much every media file out of the box, really. Um, we have a few different system tools and administration tools. Um, I'm not going to bore you and go through all of them. And we have our preferences here. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if there is anything else I can really show you, if there is anything that um, I have missed. Um, though overall, I quite like Linux Mint. I believe that it's um, more popular than um, Ubuntu even on um, DistroWatch now. It's a pretty popular operating system. I think it's popular because it's, you know, reasonably um, lightweight, responsive. It will run on um, older hardware. It is pretty simple. Whereas GNOME 3, a lot of people don't like GNOME 3, myself included. Um, it's alright, though. I'm not a big fan of it. So, yeah, I quite like um, Linux Mint. I've always been a bit of a fan of the operating system. It's one of my favourite um, Linux operating systems, along with OpenSUSE. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video, though um, if you have any questions then feel free to ask me. There's a bit of a bug in the release candidate, you have to sort of close this window for the welcome screen to go back to normal. 
So um, yeah, tell me what you think of Linux Mint and if you have any questions then feel free to ask me and I will try and come up with an answer for you. So thanks for watching.